Hey, what's up? Welcome to this video. I'm Robert Rack. I want to quickly cover what is holding you back with selling. We're going to look at three different things. If you look at yourself and you think about the sort of results that you want with selling and you look at these three different areas that we're going to cover, you should be able to quickly spot what you need to be working on to get much better results. So let me just quickly write them out and then we'll look at each one and then we'll look at why if you have one of these missing or maybe more of these missing, you're not going to be getting the results that you want with sales. So the first one is skills. The second one is mindset and the third one is results or you could also say proof. So let's break these down. Skills is the most obvious one. If you want to get good with selling, you got to work on your sales skills. There's a lot of different ways to do this. You have free YouTube content like this. You have books, you got courses, you got seminars. Um, You could even get a sales coach, but one way or another, if you want to get good at selling, you got to start learning what the just fundamental techniques of selling are, how to ask good questions, how to bring up certain topics, how to steer a conversation in a certain direction, um, how to find the big problems that people will be willing to pay to fix. Um, Just those conversational skills. Talk to people knowing the techniques to build up a sale, to create a sale and motivate people to take action and then discussing things like pricing, the actual deal, negotiating what you're going to do and having those techniques to have people want to work with you in the first place. So the skills are crucial. A lot of people start here. They start picking up the skills, which is great, but it's really these other two that hold a lot of people back. So the second one is mindset. And this one's really, really crucial because you can have all the skills in the world. You can read a million different sales books. You can take a million different sales courses. Um, You can, you know, learn every technique there is, but if your mindset sucks, you're not going to get good results with sales because you're going to be holding yourself back. You might know what to say, but you're not going to say it convincingly or you're not going to say it at all because your mindset's so bad that you're not even taking any action, that you're not even calling the businesses that you should or you do call the businesses, but you sound super nervous. You don't sound confident. Um, you're you know, fumbling over your words, you're having these panic attacks. And then when you're not actually talking to businesses, if you have a bad mindset, you're going to be doing things like just sitting there on the couch all day, uh, questioning yourself, questioning why you're even in this in the first place. Is your business going to fail? All these sort of things. So as you're working on your skills, and it is crucial, start with skills, learn the proper techniques. You also have to be really building the solid mindset, uh, really believing in what it is that you're doing, that you are helping people, that they need this product or service, that it's going to make their life better, and that it's your obligation to get out there and to sell to these people, to convince them that they should be doing whatever it is that you want them to do, because it's better for them, that you're helping them get to this better place, you're helping them get to this better result. So if you want to get good at sales, Start with your skills for sure, but as you're learning your skills, really focus on your mindset and make sure that your mindset is as good as your sales. There's no point having really good sales skills, but your mindset's terrible, you're doubting yourself, you don't feel confident, you don't take action, you don't do the things that you know you should be doing. Now the third one is results, and I feel that maybe these two people kind of figure out, but oftentimes the results thing is one that holds people back and they don't see it. So as you progress with your sales, so let's say you start off here and you're making some smaller sales. So you start with some, I don't know, $100 sales, then you're making $1,000 sales, and then you wanna be getting to you know $10,000 sales, I'm running out of space here. But what's gonna start holding you back more and more, and it's like this invisible uh, kind of force field for a lot of people, they don't know where they're getting this resistance that they can't sell at a higher amount. A big part of this is results. As you try and charge higher and higher prices, just having skills and just having a good mindset is not gonna be enough. People will hear what you say, so this is the skills. They can see that you believe in what you say, so this is the mindset, but if you don't have results, if you don't have proof, the higher the amount that you want, the harder it is for people to believe that they should give you that money. So they see what you're saying, your technique is good, your mindset's good, you call them in the first place, you sound confident, you have the good energy, But if you don't have the results, if you don't have the proof, people, it's just hard. It's hard to give somebody $2,000, $5,000, $20,000, $100,000 if they can't believe what you're saying, if they can't see that you've done this for other people, that you've gotten results for other people in the past, that they're happy with those results, that you have lots of, you know, satisfied past customers, past clients, you have a solid business they can trust, you have a solid product or service that they can trust, Uh, they can trust you personally also to really, you know, believe what you're saying and believe the claims that you're making. So as you go forwards, in in the beginning, this maybe is not so important as you're selling at a smaller amount, you can get away with just skills and just a good mindset, but the further you go and the higher amount that you want to sell at, 
it really becomes important that you can back up what you're saying, that you can show lots of examples, lots of case studies, testimonials, references, whatever it is, past projects, that you can back up what you're saying. And the more that you can back it up and the better your skills and the better your mindset, you're just gonna charge ahead. You're gonna be able to charge uh, really high prices and really increase um, the numbers that you're getting for your service or product, whatever it is. But if you, you know, working back the way here, if you only have the skills, you're not gonna get too far. If you have skills and a good mindset, you will start to progress. But really, again, you need all three. You need the skills, the mindset, and the results. So if you can make these big claims, but you can back it up, you have a solid mindset, and your technique with selling is really, really solid, you're gonna progress super fast with selling. So that's it for this video. My suggestion, look at your own uh, situation right now. Go through these three different things and figure out where you could be progressing the most if you worked on one of these. Is it your skills? Do you kind of not even really know what you're doing when it comes to selling? Should you be practicing different techniques or different parts of the sale you need to improve on? Or is it your mindset? Do you feel mentally inside the voice when you talk to yourself? that you're doubting yourself, that you're not confident, that you don't know if this is for you, you don't believe in what you're doing, you don't believe it can help, those sort of things. If that's the case, then obviously work on your mindset. Or is it your results? Is it your proof? If you want to make you know, X amount of money right now, do you have projects, do you have past results, past customers, past clients that can clearly show other people that you're worth that amount of money? If you wanna charge a certain amount, you really wanna have results as good as or better you know, value than what it is that you're trying to charge. If I want someone to pay me $20,000, I better have something that I've done in the past that was, you know, clearly worth at least $20,000 to somebody else. And preferably, I wanna have it worth more than $20,000 and I wanna have more than one example. So the better your past proof, the easier it is to sell future projects to different people. So I hope this makes sense. Any questions, let me know down below. Hope you got value out of this. If you're interested in learning about sales, I have a full program that teaches you sales and other things through web design. Check it out down below. There's a little quiz, you can take it and I'll personally be in touch. So just check uh, the link down below and you can have a look and see what you think. So that's it for this video. Hope you got value out of this. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.